I am Jeffrey Villard and back in the Italian Wars Battle Vita. In the last battle, the Condottieri pikemen saw no action, so I decided to try another custom battle with the Condottieri pikemen. Move straightforward this time, an open battle. So here's a deployment. Uh, the units are deployed in tertios. This is a sub mode I made for myself, so both the human players units and the AI units are deployed in a checkerboard tertio formation. So here's one of the tertios. Here are the wonderful Condottieri pikemen and they are surrounded by arquebusiers. And of course there are some arquebusiers in the middle as well. I cannot avoid that, unfortunately. And here is our serpentine artillery. So the artillery has opened the battle, there are volleys being fired on the other side, the AI here is redeploying. I have also decreased the attack of Archibusiers down to a 15 so that the AI pikemen do not constantly break and so that they have more of a chance to reach the human player's lines. I also do not give either side any cavalry to make the battle more even. So this is the enemy side. Our enemy is uh, Savoy, the Duchy of Savoy. And here they also have artillery and they are firing at our tertius from the distance. So the two armies are almost identical and of similar value. The AI has a slightly better value. So you can see here three of the five tertius for the AI. So the AI army is also formed in tertius and it has artillery on the two sides. So here's the other artillery battery. In the beginning there was just an exchange of artillery fire from both sides. Here's the other battery of the Duchy of Savoy. Here's our side, and uh, we can't take any more of this. We've been suffering uh, quite a few casualties from uh, the enemy artillery uh, shots. You can see here rows of men strewn on the ground as the artillery shots ripped through the tertius. And so our men are pulling back. They're pulling back out of range. A very sad sight, all these good men strewn dead on the ground. So we keep pulling back out of range of the enemy artillery. And we have left our own serpentine batteries in place, so they are within range of the enemy units. So they are harassing the enemy in the hope that the enemy will be forced to move forward. And uh, there seems to be some movement in the enemy camp and already their artillery is being pushed forward. Here, uh, here are our lines. Here's one of the tertius on the other side, again with the Condottieri pikemen. Here's the other artillery battery. Now the enemy is within sight of this battery as well, so they're about to fire. So the enemy now is in a little bit of a disarray. There's a big commotion in the enemy lines. There's one thing that's a little bit annoying. Uh, there is a movement uh, modifier applied to the pikemen from 1 down to point 0.9 or point 0.8. 
And so they move somewhat more slowly and they have this kind of jittery motion, you know, sort of the moving impulses, it's a little bit strange. It's mostly the pikemen that show this, as if the uh, FPS is low. Here two artillerymen stood in front of the cannon and were shot by their own cannon, and it wasn't a very good idea. So you can see this kind of jittery kind of impulse sort of motion of the pikemen. It's a little bit disconcerting. They would have moved the thing more evenly if they were not given this modifier. And so now the enemy is coming within range of our arquebusiers and they are starting to exchange arquebus shots. Here's the enemy side. More arquebusiers are skirmishing forward. These are Savoy Akibuzias that change their mind, they've come too close. Here's our line, we're firing back. It is a sad thing that uh, the uh, Akibuzias and pikemen of the AI cannot be better coordinated. Same with our side, we cannot move them in such a way that they fire on the march. This is not a great thing. <clears throat> so the enemy has been uh, persuaded to move forward. And they're moving forward en masse. The entire enemy army is moving forward. Here the Akibuzias are covering the approach of the pikemen. The group of Akibuzias is coming forward. You know, they've come very close to our lines and they're firing from a very short distance away. And we're suffering uh, casualties here. Many of our Kondotieri pikemen, which you see here, are being shot by the enemy Akibuzias. And now the enemy pikemen are approaching. And uh, here, one of our units of uh, dismounted nobles have charged this group of pikemen that was approaching our center the central tertio and our arquebusiers are firing into their ranks as our noble swordsmen, our dismounted nobles have attacked them in melee and here are our condottieri pikemen we only have two uh, companies of condottieri pikemen and they are on the two flanks so the enemy is sending some of their pikemen forward. They have received uh, some arquebus shot in the teeth and they have been routed. So 15 attack is enough to rout enemy pikemen. You don't need 20 or 22 or 32 or whatever. These are crazy numbers. Here's another enemy pike unit. They're approaching the tertiary on this side. This is the tertiary on the left side. We also have Kondotieri pikemen here. And our arquebusiers are about to fire a shot. And the enemy pikemen receive a shot in the teeth. Right in their faces. Kondotieri pikemen are holding their ground and the enemy is again routed. So 15 attack for Akebusias is more than enough to rout an enemy unit. Here's the enemy general. Very brave. And on the other side, the enemy is sending these... Um, heavy infantry type of unit armed with war hammers and enormous shields and uh, plate armor and they are heading for our serpentine battery design fortunately our serpentines fired a very well aimed shot 
just in time that ripped through the enemy ranks and forced the enemy to rout. Back to the main line, here is the tertiary on the right side with the Kondotary pikemen that are holding their ground. They're doing very well. And the enemy is in a little bit of disarray. Their Archibuzias are running back and forth. They have a little bit of difficulty, it seems, to get some good firing positions. There's that wonderful artillery and the uh, skins of the units are amazing, the colors are wonderful. One disconcerting thing is these arrow sounds, I don't know what they are, they shouldn't be there. To get when the arquebuses fire there are also some arrow sounds being made. So anyway, so here's back to the enemy lines. The uh, Savoy pikemen are moving forward. They are going past this burning house, jumping over the fences. There are also some uh, heavy infantry here coming our way. Here are our glorious tertius. There are more arrow sounds. Here are our uh, dismounted nobles have attacked one of the enemy tertius in the flank. They've um, acted as a fall on hope. The enemy tertiary nonetheless moves forward. There are these pikemen approaching our right hand tertiary. This is our central tertiary. They've also come under attack. They've come under attack by some uh, enemy heavy infantry and also this tertiary here. So they're going to be very hard pressed because these pikemen are not as good as the Condottieri pikemen. And here another uh, heavy infantry unit of the enemy has charged our uh, artillery battery on the left and they are taking their time to run off. Actually the enemy had two more heavy infantry units than our side to compensate for the Condottieri pikemen we have. So our artillery crew is running off but here we have routed uh, one of the enemy pike units. Nonetheless, the heavy infantry of the enemy is um, still engaged with our tertio, and they're doing well. These pikemen on this side have uh, reached our tertio on the right hand side, and now they're engaged in a melee in a push of pikes uh, with our condottieri pikemen. Our condottieri pikemen move forward they have uh, the hill advantage they are slightly on the slope you can see they're coming down at the enemy and there's a glorious push of pike here we clearly have the advantage the condottieri pikemen are the best pikemen in the game very heavily armored and uh, very capable pikemen as well So this is a very uneven fight, but the enemy pikemen are at least holding their ground, they're not running off. And here's the other group of Condottieri pikemen on the left hand side, and they've just routed that enemy pike unit. Here's back to the right side. The uh, Condottieri pikemen have made mincemeat out of the enemy pikemen. But uh, the enemy was bringing up some heavy infantry. 
And so now we have uh, engaged the enemy infantry with our pikes. This is the unit that um, tried earlier to take our cannon on the right hand side. And this annoying uh, guy here on the forefront has attacked our flank and he's already killed two of our pikemen. He is too close to the pikemen, so the pikemen aren't very good at using their pikes against him. And the enemy general makes another appearance. He's down to two men, himself and a companion. He's lost most of his bodyguard. And he's engaged the Condottieri pikeman, which doesn't seem like a very good idea. He's changed his mind, he's running off. And the fighting here continues, our pike may have some support from the Archibusiers. They seem to be winning this fight. Back in the center, the fighting continues. Uh, March pikemen are moving forward, and uh, here we are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. The enemy has slightly retreated. On the right hand side, our Condottieri pikemen move forward to engage them. We've also brought some heavy infantry here and the enemy commander has been slain nonetheless the enemy heavy infantry here are holding their ground they're doing all right there are more arrow sounds very annoying. Here is the center. The central tertiary has almost been completely destroyed. There are just a few pikemen left and looks like they are losing this fight. So we brought uh, our few heavy infantry, uh, the smarter nobles, on this side. They attack the enemy rear. We've only got about a dozen of these left by now but they are fighting on they haven't broken our central tertiary is almost wiped out so we had to bring the uh, condottieri pikemen from the other side so they were replaced by some march pikemen and they've come this side it took them seconds to turn this battle around. They killed three or four of the enemy heavy infantry and the enemy heavy infantry just ran off. And our general ran after them and took them prisoner. Uh, actually, no, he didn't run after them. He ran after the uh, heavy infantry that had sneaked past this side and had routed our artillery crew. Only half the enemy force remained. And then they continued past the uh, tertiaries on the left side. But they were shot by Akebuzias that were on the flanks of those tertiaries on the sides. And they were broken and our general uh, ran them down. Uh, so he, he wasn't chasing after the heavy infantry on this side. So here we have replaced this worn out tertiary with one of the two tertiaries at the back. 
and the worn out tertiary that was almost completely destroyed was withdrawn. The enemy artillery is hitting now this fresh tertiary and scored some kills. And our general now is chasing after the uh, retreater units. This is the unit that had attacked our center and they're taking prisoner. The enemy artillery annoyingly is still firing, but our general is coming their way. The enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! And seeing our general in their rear, the uh, crew of the uh, enemy serpentine battery breaks and runs. And they get cut down to a man which is exactly what they deserved for causing so many casualties among our men. And so the enemy now is defeated, the enemy army has been routed, and our general is collecting prisoners. And so that was the battle, a clear victory, although we lost 881 men, almost half as many as the enemy. One of the Condottieri pikemen units did rather well, killing 164 of the enemy, but the second unit was just massacred by the enemy artillery and arquebusiers. The March pikemen in the center were almost wiped out. On the other hand, our arquebusiers did all very well despite their reduced attack killing between 136 and 313 of the enemy pair unit. Our serpentine artillery also did well, and our general took over 300 of the fleeing enemy prisoner. Thank you for watching.